All right, uh, so this is just going to be a video explaining um, how to do lesson 14, page 10. Um, so let's start with uh, reading the instructions. It says, make the dinosaur turn into a pterodactyl when it reaches the sky. So it says, run the code, see how it works. Well, let's run it. We've got this dinosaur flying up. So it needs to change into a pterodactyl, and I'm going to assume that pterodactyl is animation. You click on animation, they want you to change it to this one with that with a conditional. Now, conditional member is a uh, if statement. So add a conditional that will change the dinosaur's animation to a pterodactyl when it reaches the sky. I'm going to assume the sky is right here-ish. So let's just say the sky starts at 100 Y. Okay. So here's your counter pattern that's making the uh, dinosaur go up. And they gave you a comment right here that says, if it gets to the sky, turn into a pterodactyl. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is add the conditional. So that's the if statement. You're going to find that in control in your toolbox. I'm going to drag that in here. Okay, so the thing that goes in this uh, little white space right here is your Boolean expression. And remember that your Boolean expression evaluates to a Boolean value. And a Boolean value is either true or it's false. Okay. So um, when it reaches the sky, so right off the bat, we know they're using this counter pattern and the Y for the dinosaur is decreasing because they're subtracting five from dinosaur.y. So that would be this value right here, right? So I think the best way to do it would be when the Y value reaches a certain uh value we want it to change the animation so let's say if uh, where to go let's say if sprite dot y is less than so less than is our comparison operator uh the name of the sprite don't forget though is dinosaur if dinosaur dot y so if dinosaur's y value which is 350 is less than, I think I said 100 or so. When it reaches 100, which is about right here, something needs to happen, okay? So that's your Boolean expression. You're, at, you're saying if the dinosaur's Y property, which is right here, is less than 100, then whatever you put inside this if statement, it will execute. And what they want us to do is change animation to a pterodactyl. So how do you set an animation for a sprite? That would be this block right here. I see a lot of students mess up in this part and they try to make a whole different sprite. You don't need to. You're using the same sprite. You're just changing the animation. So we're going to put a set animation right in that if. And don't forget the name of the sprite is dinosaur. And we'll click on the little arrow and choose pterodactyl. Uh, if I were you, I'd never like type the animation name. If you have a uh, misspelling, it will uh, create a bug in your program. So just select it from here. This right here, remember, is your whole animation library right here. Okay. So now when you run it, when it reaches less than 100, it turns into an awesome pterodactyl. Okay. So that's about it.